And the Women Advocates Research and Documentation Center has organized a skill acquisition program to help reintegrate migrant returnees into the society. The program saw 100 women awarded certificates after the successful completion of their training. This initiative, according to the director of the Women Advocates Research and Documentation Center, Abiola Afolabi, is to help the returnees recover from their harrowing experiences. Uh, the system has not been favorable to a lot of to us and I won't say a lot of people to all of us you know and so some people can have stronger shock absorber you know to withstand the heat but and that's why we have the jackpot syndrome you know because for them also at that point it was more or less like a jackpot syndrome but it was done in an irregular way and that's why we see a lot of people in the IC we know how many Nigerians have died on the road to try to look for survival and that's why until when we have a people-centered you know, governance structure, you know, that takes into consideration the need of every one of us. You know, we probably may not have it in the best way for Nigeria. It's been a fantastic experience. It's so inspiring to see women that, uh, that now see a future uh, ahead of them. They've been trained in different disciplines, but not just trained, they've also been provided with psychosocial support, medical services if need be, and legal assistance for those that, have, um, um, that are victims of domestic violence. So, um, uh, yes, it's, it's, um, it's great to, to see that inspiration, that, uh, I think that vision of a, of a better future uh, for all of them, and uh, I really wish them all the best. We went by road, so it, we spent nine days on the road without food, without water, without changing clothes. We got just one dress down to Mali till we got there. When we got there, they now told us that, okay, this is what you want to do. And they, they even threatened us that if we should try to make noise, that they would just kill us and nobody will find out where we are. So we went there. We just had to just keep calm. We were helpless. I went there with two other girls. I didn't know what to do because the way they said it, they said Mali was very, very far from Nigeria. So when we got there, we don't eat well. I would advise them to stay back in Nigeria, to work and work and earn what they want because going to that place is not the best option. So I think staying in Nigeria is the best option for me. If you have your work, you'll be able to put mouth hand in your mouth to feed yourself, to feed your family. But going there, you'll be in bondage, you'll not be able to do anything.